Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well today's deck is built around Grey Merchant of Asphodel, aka Grey Merchant, or as this old guys call him, Gary. So we'll go over that real quick so you kind of know what we're doing in the deck, and then I'll tell you all the cards and we'll get into the gameplay. So Grey Merchant of Asphodel, good old Gary, is two black, three colorless, creature zombie is a 2-4. So it's not an exciting creature at first glance as far as how much it costs to its power defense ratio. But when Grey Merchant of Asphodel enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life where X is your devotion to black. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. The life gain is nice and at times it could keep you in the game that you otherwise might be losing. But it's pretty much a nice, really consistent closer. As long as you can draw the card, it's consistent. So that's why our deck is built with all of these mana sources involved two black, two black, three black, three black, three, or well, that's not a permanent, ignore that. So let's go over the deck and then we'll get into the gameplay. So we have two copies of Blood Chief's Thirst. We have two copies of Omen of the Dead. You might not have seen this Omen. I'm sure you've seen all the rest. It's one black flash. When Omen of the Dead enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So we're going to use that in conjunction with Grey Merchant or maybe even Nightmare Shepherd or Rankle. If you have to, any creature in the deck, but you know, you get a lot of value with, you know, them killing Grey Merchant or them killing Nightmare and you bringing it back and then playing it again. So there's that. And then we have four copies of Serrated Scorpion. Once again, a really good reoccursion. It's probably one of the better one drops in black considering when it dies, it does two damage. So you're getting some damage through. It has one mana symbol. That's the most you can get for a one drop creature for the Grey Merchant. And then you also have the Nightmare Shepherd, which is a nice little synergistic combo that you can do. So, you know, if, if you have this on board, they kill this, they take two damage, it comes right back, it's gonna happen again. Then to finish out our uh, our package here of removal, we have two Eliminates and two Heartless Act. We have three Timurit Chosen from the Death. That's probably our best two Devotion creature that we could put out at any one time for a deck, once again, that wants a bunch of Devotion. Two copies of Soul Shatter, a little bit more removal. I guess I lied. The package re continues, but this is to get around things like Toski that's running around everywhere or anything that you can't target, uh, you know, best to see God token, things like that. We have three copies of Murderous Rider. It is more removal, but it's also for the fact that it has two black mana symbols that'll be on the board when it is a creature. Same thing with Nighthawk Scavenger, just a really amazing creature in the air, anyways. It really shines in best of one this card. So two mana symbols on it are just really strong. Once again, three mana symbols for, for a three drop. Um, Irera can never say that name properly. Let's go with first of Lockthwain. Just a really good one to have on board for tons of devotion. Continuing uh, the plan of hitting them a little bit at a time and finishing them with the Grey Merchant or Gary, as I like to call him. Whenever um, Irea, first of Lockthwain, or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one. So when you're getting a little bit of survivability, but you're also just ticking them down slowly but surely. Same thing with the Underworld Dreams. It's just amazing on the board. It's harder for them to remove than a creature. So it's a lot of good devotion. And it's just ticking, ticking, ticking. And all these control decks, if they can't control it, or Toski decks for that matter, they're just going to be taking a lot of damage. It really helps. Agadim's Awakening is just a really good land and or recru recursion tool for the deck. Nightmare Shepherd is one of your better four drops that has two mana symbols in it and has that recursion. If you notice, we want a lot of recursion and a lot of mana symbols on the board. That's the, what the whole deck is doing. Rankle, same thing, two mana symbols, plus it has haste, so you get some additional damage in there. You can make them draw cards, make them draw cards, you know, horrible thing, but they take one damage when they do it. Um, if you, This is really, really cool interaction with the Serrated Scorpion, where you attack, and then you sacrifice your Serrated Scorpion, making them sacrifice something. They still take two damage, so that's really nice. Then we've got the all-star of the deck, so we've already gone over that, but that is how you're going to win with your Devotion. You've got one copy of Pyrrhon of the Abyss. This is just there. If if all else fails, you can't find a Grey Merchant. If you can't find um, enough damage on the board and you have an Underworld Dreams on the board, just finish the deck out real quick. If you need to late game and you don't have Underworld Dreams on the board, you could cast it on yourself, find some answers, discard a whole bunch of stuff. If you survive a turn, you should have a pretty loaded hand. So there's that. And then 21 lands. So... Just trying to get down as many things on the board and get them to stick as long as possible until you get that gray merchant down, continuing to just chip away at them the whole time. And that's how the deck runs. So let's get into some gameplay. Let me show you exactly how it does it. And do me a favor, leave us a comment down in the comments down below. We want to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel. It means a whole lot to us and it's completely free. And give the video a like. Let's do this. We throw out our line. We fill a nibble. And we got Asmodarl. We reel it in. It's 
the line snap. We go first. We have two lands straight to Scorpion. If we got one more land, we got a scaven Nighthawk Scavenger, Underworld Dreams. We're looking good. We have a nice front side. We just need a little bit of a back side. So we want to draw into a two drop or a land. I'd prefer a two drop than a land. Let's see what our opponent is up to. Green. They're up to green. That is not a land. So we are whiffing on turn two, unfortunately. Are they green? Are they stompy? Are they something different? Okay, something different it is. We are going elves. We're elving it up. So we draw a land. We'll throw it out. We'll pay the three life. Not our favorite thing in the world. And then let's get Nighthawk Scavenger on board because it swings more often. No attacks. We'll hold back with that. We'll start attacking in the air. We'll throw the Underworld Dreams. Or even better, if we draw another land, we'll throw the Shepherd. Nightmare Shepherd. Getting ready for this big Grey Merchant. We know what they're going to do. An Elf. Boom. Little Elf. And they pass the turn. Okay, so we'll throw out the Shepherd. And then we'll swing in with the lock. They can't block the one on the air, but if they block the Serrated Scorpion, they take two. And we get it back as a 1-1. One, one. Okay, I think we're going to have to try to race them in the air. Um... I think we should maybe throw the other Nightmare Shepherd. I don't know if we want to do the Underworld Dreams yet. They're going to throw at least one more Elf and trigger the Elf Warmaster. If they have the one that has Reach, the two-drop Wolf Elf or whatever. It's an Elf, but it looks like it's riding a dog. <laughs> Anyways, they could drop an Elf now for two. Get an Elf. That one. Yeah. I would have dropped... If, I would have waited until next turn as a combat trick, but that's the one I was talking about. The Wildborn Preserver. Looks like a wolf. I guess it's a fox. More of a fox. Unless they have another one in their hand, and then they can definitely do tricks. So, if I keep piling up in the air until I hit this last drop, they can't really do anything. I mean, they do have this reach here, but this has death touch. So, let's swing into everything except that. We'll use that as a blocker. It doesn't matter which way they block. Unless they... Even if they flash in another creature, then they can't pump this. Unless it's a one drop. Yeah, yeah. So, there they go. There they go. So we still have this to block, and which would trigger, this will trigger that. We have this to block, which will cause them to take two damage, because I'll make sure it's one that it kills it, and then it comes back. Skimfar! So they get to draw quite a few cards if they lose an elf now. Or berserker, but I don't think that part matters. <laughs> okay. Throw another token, Wild Boar Preserver. They tax it for two, making it a 4-4. We still have the Grey Merchant if we draw land that just what's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage immediately. So if we top deck a land, we're looking good. Oh yeah, we'll be blocking. You could draw. Okay, Heartless Act is an interesting card. Still think the play is the Underworld Dreams here. I don't think they could kill us in one turn, can they? If they get this to be, what are they at? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We don't win this turn. So I think, yeah, I think we just go like this. Attack with these two. I think we do that, and I think I'm going to remove their tokens if they block. Yeah, let's do that. And that way I kill the creature with a heartless act, leaving up this. It would have come back as a 1-1, one, one, but now we're representing lethal. By keeping this, they can draw two cards. They would need another reach creature. If they draw a reach creature, then we use murderous rider, kill it, swing in the air for lethal. And if we draw another land, it doesn't matter, and we just tap them with the gray merchant. I would really love a land because I don't want. I, I would. I don't know. I guess I'm in the. Yeah. There's the reach tr creature. So we're. Our game plan is working out at the moment. We have murder Rider. Good game. Didn't matter. And who do we have? Albranage. Uh, let's see. I think I could clean it up. Albranage. Albranage. Hello, opponent. Again. So we have three swamps. Straight to scorpion. Eliminate. Academy's awakening and. A Ayara first. 
of Luxwain. Let's keep it. Opponent goes first. We have a one drop. We have a removal at two. We have some reoccursion with the awakening. The Agadiums, whether it's the awakening or the undercrypt. Opponent goes white pass. We just hit a Nighthawk Scavenger, so that's not a bad three drop. Not 100% sure if I like to drop the Nighthawk into the uh, AR Ayara. I guess it depends on how big this is when it's time for value wise. Do I want to get this fired up and attacking? Okay, so that's not going to be an issue. Okay, we're definitely going to be throwing scavengers. Um, let's get rid of this value train right now. If they throw um, the. What's it called? The one that gives plus one every turn. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. But yeah, that, that would be bad course so it stacks those we're cool with that hopefully they don't have any any removal that's gonna bother us no attacks because now we're gonna drop a nighthawk into a nighthawk and then we'll drop the era ayara <laughs> at least that's the plan i'm thinking nighthawk nighthawk for sure if we have to soul shatter we have to soul shatter gets around any kind of protection any kind of that shenanigans we know our opponents like shenanigans giant killer is the play so we're going to probably have to kill that somehow in a bit. This is going to have to go down tapped because we're not dropping four mana worth of anything this turn. Let's throw another one of these. Let's just attack with the one. Gain two, drop them down two. It's too bad that Soul Shatter doesn't hit the Daxo, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe they'll throw something big in the air, tapping themselves out, thinking they're protected. Glorious Anthem, okay. Okay, ooh, that cleans things up. So now we'll just destroy that little guy. Let them have that. Um, wipe their whole board. Let's just, I was going to throw this, but let's just wipe their whole board. Start nice and clean. Swing on in. Get rid of that. Yeah, that was the right answer. <laughs> Don't think they would have quit if we dropped Araya. Who do we have on this beautiful day? Up next, we have Morgul. Morgul. What do we got? Opponent goes first again. But we have two swamps, an omen of the dead, a straight to scorpion, heartless act, murder rider, and a nightmare shepherd. So we have our turn one drop. We have some removal. We have a turn three drop. We just need to draw a land or two. It's worth keeping. So they're also on black. Hey, their turn two is a, another serrated scorpion. Not my favorite thing, but hey, it's a... It's a play on turn two okay fabled passage so if they couldn't do anything with a single swamp before they're probably not doing anything this turn either another land is very fortunate for us um i don't see any point in holding up the land for a heartless act i'll just wait till next turn swing in with both or with the one can't swing with both one is very sick at the moment Okay, so now they have planes and two. Oh, it's a birth of Miletus. That's going to be something we might have to Heartless Act. That 04, we'll see. Maybe we just keep slamming into it every turn. Well, you hate to see it. You really do. Yeah, really do. But I think I might have to Murderous Rider. No, we'll pass. Well, we're just swinging for the two. I'll pass the turn. We'll hold up Murderous Rider or Heartless Act um, for whatever they do and or that little wall. Which really isn't bugging me, but if they don't throw another creature and I Murderous Rider it, it clears the pathway and then I don't feel so bad throwing the Murderous Rider. <laughs> another birth. Okay. Once again, it's really going to suck this line of play if we draw another black land because then we won't even be throwing the Murderous, but we got to... We gotta do it. We don't know if they even have creatures. They might be a straight control deck. They might be... Oh, okay, that's interesting. I think this whittles them down the most now. Especially if they start... Well, they're not having... I don't see blues. So they're probably not drawing cards. We only not need four more lands to win. There's another 0-4 wall in our way. Shadow of the Sky clears the board. Okay, well... We'll take it. A turn three. So we're definitely going to go the Murderous Rider. And then if they have a way to kill it this turn. Okay, then they did. Um, I don't think I want to bring anything back with this. If they kill the Murderous Rider, we'll bring it back. And then we also have the Nightmare Shepherd 
for next turn if they don't kill the murderous rider so that we have some protection they'll want to kill this first so let's see what our opponent does they seem to be more of a control deck the only creatures we've seen has been these little tokens they're still thinking whether or not they want to take one from underworld dreams before they take their two gain their two life back to 13 for them i think i remember these or something very similar. Okay, it's a vanishing light. That's not a problem. Whatever. They're wasting all the... Oh, on the Underworld Dreams. That means they probably have removal for that. So, take our turn. Hey, yo. They probably think that we're a Peer into the Abyss deck. Now, the fact that we have Peer into the deck, that Peer into the Abyss, it's coincidental. There's only one. It's a backup plan. But hey, they just don't want to take one a turn, maybe. I like taking one a turn. If they have a removal, I'm sure it's going towards the Nightmare Shepherd. No point in throwing it at the Murderous Rider when they just get it back as a 1-1. Might as well eliminate the problem. If they don't kill the Shepherd, then we, we're pretty safe. Fabled Passage. If they're going to use that Lothwain to look for an answer, it's not that scary yet. And they're going to take a lot of damage, but we'll see. We'll see what our opponent... Another Shatter in the Sky. Okay, so that resolves. We draw a land for the turn. Let's take the action. Boom. Pass the turn. Before our turn, we'll throw out the omen. Let's collect our Nightmare Shepherd back. Okay. So now we're going to throw the Nightmare Shepherd first. Because that way, when the, this is already protected when it hits the board, we'll swing in for the one, gain a life, bringing them down to ten. If they board wipe again, then they board wipe again. And. There's another Shatter. Okay, we're going to get at least the one Scorpion back. They'll take two from it. we get it back again. Take the action. So what do we got over here? We have a... We have some... Okay. Well. Interesting. Hmm. They're tapped out. Three... So I can only get back a serrated scorpion right now. But that opens me up for next turn. A win with the Gary. They've got an underworld dreams of their own. So we've got to try to close this out quick. Um, I'm trying to think of the right line of play here. So this is one, two three four damage there alone so maybe we want to sneak that in next turn so they don't know let's try to do the agadam's awakening for one grabbing that submit the one auto pay leaves open the heartless act if they so if we so need it hit them for one with that and the turn let's see where we get here so it's an underworld dreams we saw that coming Next turn, they probably kill us. Solemn Simulacrum. So what do we do here? We're going to Heartless Act that. They'll draw a card. We hit them for one, two. Then th one, one, two. And then three, four, five, six, seven. I think we win the game that way. So I think we do this. Kill that. They draw a card. I think we've got this. Okay, we take a damage. That resolves. We throw out the Gary. They take a bunch of damage. We swing in for two. Good game. We have Svenbull. Or seven bull that forgot a knee. Did you forget a knee? So we have three lands, but two of them are Agadim's Awakening. We have a Blood Chief, Thirst, Murder's Rider, Rankle, and Grey Merchant, aka the Gary. Uh, I don't think this is fast enough for how long we have to wait, we, and we go second. Let's mulligan. That's a much better hand with one real land, but we have the Agadiums. We'll hope we get into some more shenanigans later. So we'll keep this six. Ship Gary back into the deck. Unfortunately, he's way down there. Wee! So we won't be seeing that one this game. Um, I think we're going to be leading with the Agadiums this particular game. Put it into play tap. We don't have a... Uh, in search of greatness okay so throw that out 
Eh, let's get let's get our Timurite out for that amazing animation. Opponent gets described to the bottom. They didn't like that one. We'll move that one down. Probably play a four. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh. Okay, we're coming into land left and right now. It's a straight cornucopia of black mana sources. So we'll just swing in with the two after throwing the scorpion and pass our turn, holding up all kinds of removal and recursion. That's what we got. Let's put you over here because you're removal. You two are recursion. You over here because you're also land. <laughs> so they've got four sources now. They are gruel, but they're not. It's an annex. So they're going to get a 1-1 one, one out of the deal no matter what I do. So we'll go ahead and let that hit the board. They pass. And we definitely don't want to let an annex live. Let them get their 1-1. One, one. I get it. They have another annex. That's usually why you would lead with that. We're going to take the hit. We're going to pay 3 life. And we're going to throw this Nightmare Shepherd that we just top deck. And swing on in immediately. They can't block with that little 1-1. One, one. Get out of here. I think they wanted that annex to stick because then they were throwing a free 4-drop. That's another reason to get rid of it. It's another reason it's nice to have the Blood Chief Thirst, whatever they throw next. We're just trying to keep them on the back foot, because this will let them come back into this game real quick. Westing Beast. Okay, I'll block the 1-1. One, one. I'll, I'll take a smack to the jaw for four. Kill the 1-1. One, one. Mm. Yeah, Questing Beast, you get in. Another land it is. If we draw a Grey Merchant, we are ready to go. I don't think we have it. Yeah, no creatures for this yet. That is a snap decision. Not even a question. And we'll swing in with all these. There you go. We have the Omen of the Dead in case they try to kill every anything. We're just bringing it right back to our hand. Well, we won't even need to unless it's the Nightmare Shepherd. They have, yeah, they have to kill that first. Otherwise, these just come right back in. That's the nice part. Grey Merchant seals the deal even if they throw blockers. I think we've... Demon Bolt... We have an answer for you. Pass. Yep. I would like my creature back, please. Don't you take my creatures from me. Don't even need it. Sorry, Shepard. You're not going to be on the field when we end this ball game. Good game. Svenble. Okay, we have Frodo. Frodo of the 098. You call me Samwise. We're going to keep this with two swamps and an Agadiums for a third source if needed. We have a Serrated, Heartless Act, Underworld, and a Wrinkle. I'm I'm, uh, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. If we happen to top deck uh, Timurant, that'd be an interesting turn two. If we draw a couple of lands, get to the Underworld, we have a Wrinkle, and then we if we hit... If everything goes to, in our favor, we are going to have a huge Grey Merchant, based on what I'm looking at. But... Our plans might be foiled by Frodo. Frodo seems to get that ring into the mountain of Mordor every single time. He does not fail. Um, we don't have a turn two other than a removal. So I don't think I'm throwing that. I'm just going to throw this. If we have to throw this next turn um, untapped or tapped, we will. Either way, I don't care. But I want to hold up the Heartless. A stray, or a charmed stray, not a stray charmed. Um, let me see. I don't think we care because they're not throwing another one most likely. And we have a heartless and we can run into it with this. So why waste our heartless? Hey, a third land naturally. Let's do that. Let's get the Thunderworld Dreams out there. Swinging for the one. So next turn they're going to throw another cat probably. Oh, uh, well, if they have another one. But we really don't care about the swing back because what we're going to do is next turn we are going to rankle. If we have to, we'll drop that tapped. Swing in. And then we'll sacrifice this, make them sack a creature if, once again, Frodo doesn't disrupt our plans. Let's see what Frodo has in store. I'm assuming it's going to be another cat. It seemed like they're a cat themed deck. Okay, no. So it's a Heliod. They don't gain life. Oh, does this have. Oh, it has life. Never mind. <laughs> Um, I don't hate the Eliminate, but let's stick with our plan. We'll pay the three life. We'll throw the Rankle. We swing with everything. Um, let's see. 
Let's just do the lot. We'll sacrifice the eliminate because right now we can't. Well, we have eliminate and the. Let's get rid of the shepherd. Let's get rid of the shepherd. I know that's an odd thing, but we got the rankle in the air. I'm banking that they don't have, from what I've seen, I don't think they have Banishing Light. I could be completely wrong. Let's submit the Scorpion so that they take two more damage. We're we have a Rankle and Underworld Dreams. If we want a Nighthawk Scavenger and then eliminate Heartless Act, I feel, I, feel like, I feel like poor Frodo is not making it to Mordor. Sauron has his eye on, or is it Saruman? I always get that in the wizard. Their names are too similar. Don't we agree on that? Come on. Better writing, please. No, just kidding. So, now that we drew the land, the play is 100%. Throw the scavenger. Run in with the rankle. We're definitely not going to discard a card. We'll just take a li lose one life and draw a card. So, we're taking them down one more life. Hey, it's a Blood Chief Thirst. I like that. Um, before they even get a turn, let's Heartless Act that. Let's just... I am sorry, Frodo. We are absolutely demolishing you. It, we just had, like, the absolute epiphany, epitome of an amazing draw this game. And I had an epiphany in there, too. It's the epitome of an epiphany. I don't think there's anything you can do to pull out of this. Even if... I, I don't think you could win the game in three turns. I know you could gain life, so maybe that... Oh, hey, hey. I banked on them not having that card, but it was a little too little. A little too late. Let's swing in. Good game, Frodo. My ring. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That is a wrap for today's deck. It actually performed a lot smoother than I thought it would. You know, people out there trying to disrupt a lot of your creatures and keeping your devotion low. But the deck still seemed to chip away. And, and I found some timely uh, Garys when needed. So overall, I like the deck. Just a couple of changes, though. First off, as much as I want this card to work, it is a one of. It doesn't always work. So let's actually change the Peer of the Abyss for one more two drop because our two drops right now unfortunately are a little lacking and what i mean by that is the only two drop we have that's a creature that sticks on the board for devotion is the timorate so let's just guarantee that we draw it i know it's legendary so the being four is a little odd but it's a two drop so it's probably going to get removed anyways uh and that way we're not just going turn one serrated scorpion turn two serrated scorpion and or holding up um a removal and it's a little bit more consistent on our turn two drop the other thing i would do is probably cut one murderous rider and add one more underworld dreams but i don't know if that's the right decision let me know down in the comments what you would do to change the deck if you run the deck please let us know how you did and as always it's completely free so please hit that subscribe button give the video a like and until next time have a blast in the arena